I came into CES with a little bit of skepticism about its relevance, and honestly, at the end, I think that CES is still as relevant as ever. The companies that are here really had a lot of value from it, not in terms of media coverage, because I think that's what media gets wrong. The show isn't necessarily for us and what we're doing, it's about people in business getting business done, and I think from that perspective, the show is a big success. So I'm going to call the mobility and automotive sector as one of the most interesting areas of CES, not because they had amazing news, but because they had a very strong presence on the show floor. Of course, no one can talk about autonomous drive after what happened with Tesla over 2023. So I think everyone, everyone's messaging got pulled back and everyone just kind of got to the core of what needs to be done. And it wasn't about AI or autonomous drive. It was just about how we're going to be putting infrastructure in and how we're actually going to be rolling out electric cars. And so from that perspective, I really enjoyed the show. We've seen all sort of AI talk. And it's been certainly a marketing effort. It's been a PR effort more than anything. The technology is there, but this year it's still not mature to see um, the value chain and the products bringing AI value to consumers. we need to be super fast. So every time that your cat comes from, like wants to go inside, we check its face and scan like every image of it to detect two different things. Sure. So with the chip, you want to make sure that only your cat is allowed to come inside and no images, videos, statistics. <laughs> the most important. I see, I see the videos. <laughs> the the best. I've seen fun stuff done with AI. I've seen playful stuff done with AI, uh, which is, uh, of course, a thing that you have here at CES, people doing all sort of crazy things with technology. And if the technology allows you to do this kind of stuff, it means it's at an inflection point where it's so horizontal, so available, that I can see a, you know, a cat door that recognizes when the cat has a mouse in its mouth and with computer vision knows when to let the cat in or not. And then we have all sort of other application of a machine learning, deep learning, not just generative AI, that it's now becoming clearly part of our lives in ways that are invisible to us but make our lives uh, better. I think one of the coolest things I've seen is uh, transparent screens. LG and Samsung both had ones, especially LG, the, the one from LG was uh, pretty impressive. Uh, we've seen uh, transparent screens for a long time. I think they're now ready for prime time. To be honest with you, I still don't know who should buy that. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.